There's a problem. Documents and data about clinical trials are often completely inaccessible, or they're accessible, but they're extremely difficult to find and extremely difficult to use. With Open Trials FDA, we're trying to fix this problem for one set of documents, the approval documents held by the FDA. These are incredibly important and valuable, as Eric Turner can tell you. Eric Turner here. Uh, I'd like to quickly distinguish between journal articles and FDA reviews. With journal articles, of course, everything takes place after the study is finished, but with FDA reviews, there's a before the study. And what I mean by that is what there's a protocol is submitted to the FDA before the study is even started. So the FDA learns, first of all, the study is to be done, so it can't be hidden later. And secondly, it learns all the little details, uh, methodological details about how the study is going to be done and how it's going to be analyzed. And so that is a guard against outcome reporting bias or outcome switching. So we decided to make them more accessible. Open Trials is a service that we've been building that aims to pull together all publicly accessible data and documents on all of the data and information around all of the clinical trials that have ever been collected. This is in order to make this information more useful and therefore more impactful. This is about making tools rather than just simple static academic publications. And here's Vittel to explain how you do it. Thanks, Ben. So, to make the FDA data more accessible, we need to extract it first. To do that, we built a robot that goes to the drugs at FDA website and looking for every drug that they have available, extracting information like activity ingredients, company name, name of the drug, and goes to the approval history page and downloads every document that they have available there, like letters and labels and drug approval packages. We then extract their text using a service called Document Cloud even if they come from scanned documents. We'll then search for known trial identifiers mentioned in their text, linking those documents with the trials on open trials. We also provide an API and search interface and a dump of the data, so you can analyze it on your local machine. Okay, so, hurrah, it's here, it exists, you can use it. We'd like to make it better, but more importantly, we'd like to do more things like this, because we think that academics working together with coders and users to build tools rather than just static academic papers is the way of the future for science.